Misha Tate is the definition of a winner. She's tapping! Hey, it's it's all, all over! Misha, Misha, Misha Tate! It's the new UFC Misha Women's Bantamweight oh. Champion! She has not only won belts in three different organizations, but has gone on to defy the odds in the business world and even win one of the hardest reality television shows. First, let's see where Misha got her competitive spirit. Number 8. Misha Tate's Early Life Misha Tate was born in Tacoma, Washington, and was raised by Michelle and her husband Robert Schmidt. Right away, Cupcake Tate showed unique interests. On one hand, she owned Barbie dolls just like every other American girl, but on the other, she would have her Barbies fight against one another until one or both of the doll's heads popped off. She was a tomboy through and through, and preferred to hang out with the boys rather than the girls her age. And she was born with a competitive spirit. When she was in Harvard Elementary school, you had to climb a length of rope that ran from floor to ceiling. Not just once, but three times. And you had to do it without allowing your feet to touch the ground. Those who could do it were honored by having their name written on the wall. Tate's competitive nature mixed with her athleticism allowed her to complete this task and get her name written on the wall alongside all the other boys. In high school, the summer and fall months were fine because she could busy herself with soccer, running track, and cross country. But the winner was different. There were only two winter sports available at Franklin Pier high school. One was basketball, which Misha hated, and the other was wrestling, which Tate had never thought about trying until one of her friends talked her into trying out for the wrestling team. Right now I'm just soaking it all in, I'm enjoying it, and I'm loving life. This would be a life-changing moment for Misha as it set her down a path that eventually led to her being a mixed martial arts champion. But more on that in a little bit. First, let's see what made her love MMA in the first place. Number 7. How She Started MMA After graduating high school, Cupcake Tate attended Ellensburg and Central Washington University. There, one of her neighbors, Rosalia Watson, dropped by Misha's room one day. Watson was a high-level black belt in karate and had recently found a martial arts club nearby and wanted Misha to tag along. At first, Misha was hesitant because she saw herself as a wrestler and not a karate fighter. She wasn't into the whole pajama-wearing look, but ultimately Watson convinced Tate to join her at the martial arts club she was introduced to jiu-jitsu. She right away took to a liking to jiu-jitsu because of its resemblance to wrestling, except you could submit your opponents. Because of her wrestling background, she was better than most beginners and made it a routine to show up to the martial arts club every Tuesday and Thursday. It didn't take long for her to fall in love with the MMA culture. In 2006, she even attended her first amateur fight card in Yakima. She wasn't fully sold on the striking part of MMA, but when she attended those amateur fights and saw the incredible amount of passion the fighters fought with, she was completely blown away. It wasn't long after that that she signed up for her very own amateur debut. She compiled a 5-1 record during her amateur career before deciding to turn pro. And it's a good thing she did turn pro because it wouldn't take her long to etch her name alongside the greatest women fighters of all time. Number 6. Career Achievements Misha Cupcake Tate has a record of 19 wins and 9 losses. Out of those 19 wins, she has 11 finishes. Her storied career stretches back all the way to 2007 and just two years later that she would find herself with a belt around her waist. Her first championship was in 2009 at freestyle cage fighting when she defeated Lizbeth Correo using a Von Fluke choke. Her next championship came in 2011, where she submitted Marlos Conan via an arm triangle in the fourth round to win the Strikeforce Bantamweight Championship. However, the emergence of Ronda Rousey would push Tate out of the limelight for a few years, but then over Ronda Rousey and Tate became the first woman to beat Holm in MMA. All in all, she has taken home two Fight of the Night bonuses and two Performance of the Night bonuses, along with being considered one of the all-time great women's fighters. And thanks to her incredible rivalries, she has also earned herself some nice pay checks. Number 5. Career Earnings Fighting has always been a tough way to make a living, and it was even tougher for the women before Ronda's ascension to the top. This is evident by the fact that Tate only made $19,000 for her title fight against Rousey in Strike Force. However, for her first fight in the UFC, Tate earned $78,000 despite losing an epic battle with Kat Zingano. She also earned a $50,000 Fight of the Night bonus. Despite losing, she earned a title shot against her longtime rival, Ronda Rousey. She came up short 
short once again, but took home over $100,000 because the fight earned a $75,000 bonus. A few fights later, Tate earned $76,000 for her win over Sarah McMahon, which put her a step closer to challenging for the UFC title. She finally got another crack at the title at UFC 196, where she did win. And not only did she take home the UFC belt, but also $92,000. For her one and only title defense against Amanda Nunez, Tate earned $500,000 dollars C200 card against Kentlin Vieira and earned herself $120,000 even though she did lose via decision. In between her UFC tenure, Tate did briefly retire from the sport because of an incredible opportunity that one fighting championship provided her. Number 4. Vice President Role one Fighting Championship is one of the biggest MMA organizations in the world. It is particularly big in the Asia market. In 2019, they came up with an offer so good that Tate couldn't help but sign it. She was offered the vice president role at 1FC. Her role primarily included being a brand ambassador and popularizing 1FC and MMA throughout the Asian market. She was going to be an instrumental part in 1FC's push into America. However, due to COVID-19, it became difficult to continue doing business when most of the countries were locked down. And during that time, Tate's competitive spirit sparked up again and decided to step down from the vice president role to go back to fighting in the UFC. But there's no doubt that when things are all said and done and Tate does retire, she will have a bright future behind the scenes. One reason for that is because of her incredible fan base. Number 3. Social Media Presence On Twitter, Tate has over 800,000 followers, while on Instagram, she has 2.1 million. She even has a YouTube channel that has 1.2 million total views. Now, One of the reasons why she is so popular is because of her appearance on the Ultimate Fighter reality TV show where she coached against Ronda Rousey. Another reason is because of her other TV and magazine appearances, but more on that soon. Her social media feed is full of training footage, practical advice, and of course pictures of her beautiful family. Previously, Tate dated fellow UFC fighter Brian Caraway, who she met at Central Washington University. After breaking up with her, Tate began dating former UFC fighter Johnny Nunez. Together, the couple has two children. But now on to the things that occupy Tate's time when she isn't fighting or taking care of her kids. Number 2. Outside the Octagon. Over the years, Tate has appeared in several magazines. The most famous is the 2013 ESPN Body Issue. There, she posed nude for the magazine and showed off her incredible fighting physique. Along with that, she has also appeared in Fitness Girls Magazine. Apart from her magazine appearances, she was a contestant on Celebrity Big Brother 3, and it seems like winning just follows Tate everywhere she goes, because not only did she win belts in Strike Force and UFC, but also won the Big Brother TV show. So there's no doubt that sooner, rather than later, Tate will also win her spot in the UFC Hall of Fame for everything she has done and because of how great of an MMA ambassador she has been. Number 1. Her Net Worth As for her net worth, Tate spent the majority of her career fighting for smaller paychecks. She is still one of the pioneers of women's MMA, and thanks to her and others like her, the women that compete nowadays are much better off. But Tate was the second MMA fighter to join KHI Management Company and eat deals with NASCAR and Budweiser, so that must have made up for some of the lacking checks early on in her career. Also, we don't know exactly how much she was making for her vice president role with 1FC. But with all of that being said, we would estimate that her net worth is somewhere around the $2 to $5 million mark. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. With that being said, you just watched us break down Misha Tate's story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.